I need to not vocalize when I'm breaking this stuff, because you all saw with the bad luck that that brought me last time. Nah, I actually, it helps me sync up the uh, audio and video uh, when I'm processing this thing. Uh, so once in a while, uh, sorry, I'll be timing um, my actions and vocalizations because, like, some of my video editors keep being really bad about audio sync. Uh, I record my uh, video in um, fraps, and then I record my audio uh, of me talking in Audacity, and then I try to combine them, but uh, I was I was using AVS Editor to um, to do that and before and I was using their internal um, sound recording but it ended up desyncing really terribly so um, I'm gonna try using Audacity instead for the sound recording and and then just uh, take the whole project probably into Adobe Premiere and see if that helps any. Oh man, I got more coal than I thought. I probably don't really need any more. Mm, good. Plenty good. Go ahead and make a full stack of torches there. I have some extra, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll use them up soon enough. Especially when exploring big old cave systems. This is really my favorite part of oh more of Minecraft. Uh, I love exploring caves that are right there. Whenever a game generates something, it's like you know the game has actually made something, and I like to see what kind of decisions it made with uh, in regards to uh, spawning things. And generating in, in general and generalizing generations. <laughs> but yeah, it, like I get to explore and exploring stuff that already is there, just waiting to be rooted through. I don't know, I just always find it fun, both in real life and in games. And since I'm pretty physically crippled, it. Uh, is, you know, not very possible for me to do it IRL very much, so having a game where I get to do a lot of exploring really, you know, helps cheer me up and let me feel like I'm doing, you know, things that I normally would be doing. Even if in pixel form, it's still better than nothing. And that's why I kind of like to keep doing this uh, speedrun series, because... I get to explore something new every time, and all with, you know, the pressure hanging over me for both time and death penalty. You know, if I die, I die forever, and this world is lost to me. So I want to drink in as much as of, it, of it as I can, but still being careful, but still hurrying. It's, it's just a really thrilling balance. It's like a real adventure. It, it just... Even if I keep not succeeding in stuff from the bullcrap, which that does kind of tick me off the bullcrap itself, I enjoy the exploring, and that's what still makes it worth doing. Okay, I definitely hear a skeleton. They're tough to fight, but I always go after them because I want their bows and or arrows. I keep on thinking that I could use their bone meal for something, but I can't even... Whoop! There's the cave. I can't even, like, put my finger on it. I don't know if there is something that would be useful to grow or not. Probably not. Let me see. I don't think you can use it on cactus or sugar cane. Um... Ooh, nice. Uh, you can use it on trees, but I got plenty of wood. Um, well, crops, maybe, but I, I don't know if I'd be hanging around somewhere long enough to really need croppage. But then again, you know, since I've, 
you know, I'm probably going to be making a base after I've been to the nether to sit around, shelter from attacks, and draw in endermen. Uh, I probably might actually be able to be growing some food, and being able to speed up that process with some uh, bone meal would would be a big help, really. Oh, this, oh, that goes right back up to the open air. Looked like it was getting dark, so I'd better not attempt hunting again right now. Meanwhile, I'm trying to get all the iron that I can so I can get squared away, feel nice and safe. I know I could always do the run with less armor, but I hear you. Hey, that's not what I want. But yeah, I always prefer to get, you know, maximum protection in a decent amount of time. That way I don't have to worry so much. Especially with how tough the enemies have gotten and how much bullcrap I always go through. Might as well have, you know, all the extra hits that I can afford to get. Going down, down, down. Alright. This will be a good place to... Uh, whoop. I'd better just dig up here. Looks like a good place to continue digging from once I, you know, get all my uh, goods uh, squared away. Keep saying squared away like an old timer. Fix this up. I probably don't really need more coal, but I mean, it's right here staring me in the face. Uh, where did I... Did I leave my crafting table and stuff somewhere? Actually, oh, actually yeah, this is probably going further down than the other way. Let's check it out. Eh, not much else here. Yep. Being so clumsy here. So clumsy. So many pathways. Oh, yep, I did leave my stuff up here. And got some waiting for us and some more on the grill. Actually, yeah, I should go ahead and split up the load so it cooks faster. Yeah, take about half of that and put it there. Alright, perfect. Now let's go ahead and let's see. I already got those other things, so armor. Definitely armor. Boop. More metal! More metal! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I wish I could, like, you know, right now I've got a headset mic. If it was a regular mic, I'd move it back so I could do some actual metal yells and stuff. But it always seems like if I'm recording, I suck at it. I only sing good when I'm alone and no one is there to hear. Well, even good is arguable there. <laughs> I don't know, do any of you guys ever want to hear me actually trying to sing sometime? Yeah, say so in the comments if you do. Uh, but yeah, I'm not likely to hear that anytime soon. Okay, got that metal, and that one is finishing up. Got enough for more components. In fact, all the ones that I need. Sweet! Nice and cozy. And a couple extra. Uh, let me see. I could... Um, uh, I think I'm gonna hang on to it for now. Um, yeah. Just gonna keep making some stone tools for now. Because uh, I probably want to save the iron for like an iron pickaxe in case I come upon some diamonds or 
lots of gold and stuff. Yeah. I keep scratching an itch on my lower lip. My hair's kind of frazzly. I really need to get another haircut. I mean, it's still short, but it, it, I could use a trim. Shave and a haircut. Two bits. I guess I'll just dig down from here. After topping off. Pork. The other white meat. Ooh. Yum. Uh, uh, well, yum. <laughs> it's like, oh, metal, yum. I was just talking about food, and I'm happy to see metal. You can't blame me. <laughs> No, I'm so metal that I eat iron for breakfast. <laughs> I hear some water. And we are close. Okay. Usually my best elevation, either 12 or 11, is usually where the um, main amount of uh, law of the lakes are. Which usually means open areas. Which usually means I can find more ore. And of course, the I the uh, the uh, the lava itself is something I need too. Standing in pools. Oh, I'm getting close. Sounds like both lava and water. I already have water though. Still, open areas, good, good things. And there's part of it. So careful. Wow, it looks all nice and foggy. It's neat. More, more metal. <laughs> Lots of raw. It's not the. Oh, oh. Game getting choppy. Stop it. Not what I need to happen. Oh, oh crap. Uh, I saw a dungeon. Oh, I'm not. Oh god! Stop it! <laughs> so many of them are hitting me. My computer's getting all stupid. Good, good, good. Fight each other. Get you. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Mm, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to farm these guys. Oh. Already. What the hell? I want to want these guys' arrows and hopefully a bow because I haven't encountered enough spiders yet. Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> I'm a porcupine. Okay. If I just kind of hang back here and take them as they come out, should be okay. Alright, got five so far. Come on out. Meet me on my turf. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, they drew me out. Uh, die, 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 die. More. Oh, three of them. Crap. Die, die, die. Die. You die, too. Oh, I, this is too much. You freaking leave me alone. I'm trying to break this thing. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, jeez, jeez, jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Son of a bouncing Betty. Oh my goodness. 
and I hear, and no, no, I fought too hard for that treasure. You're not going to blow it up. You're not going to blow me up. Freaking, oh. oh my gosh. Just, I can't really. Uh. Okay, I can use this, and I can use this to make bread. I can put that, where, where am I going to? Uh. Oh my god. Oh, oh man, more. Jeez. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, I can't believe I survived all that. Oh boy. Oh man, and now we got an Enderman. Perfect. <gasps> Two of them. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, just gonna set these guys up. Absolutely awesome. Oh. I don't want anyone sneak attacking, uh, sneak attacking me from here. Why won't it? Hey, hey, put this, put the rock. Uh, oh, it's the the torch. Ooh, just in time. We don't want skeletons around. If they shoot projectiles at the Endermen, they'll warp, and I'll be in trouble. All right, get you. <laughs> Perfect. There's diamonds there. Sweet. Come on. Come on. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Come on. Hey. Oh, now he comes. Oh, he takes so long. Skeleton! What the heck are you doing there? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No. No. No! Oh, oh, oh. That freaking skeleton! Oh, Oh, oh. Uh, well, I don't think I can really call this episode bullcraft, because that was a legitimate part of the game. The, uh, you know, if a skeleton shoots at an enderman, then they'll teleport and often get behind you. That happens. But come on, are you really telling me that the AI is supposed to be that smart that the skeleton would, would come up at the perfect moment and do it at just the right time? Oh, come on, seriously. Uh, well, I'll leave that up to you guys to decide the verdict. See you next time. Later, broskies.